Hello. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you doing? I am doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very well. You're very <laughs> excited to be on. <laughs> I know. I'm excited to have you. So welcome, guys. My name is Jacqueline Valdez. Welcome to Elegant Conversation with Jacqueline Valdez. And today's guest that we have is Alex Quintero. And he is a DJ. And we are going to be talking about um, empowerment in entertainment. Absolutely. Yeah, I yes. think uh, those two things kind of go hand in hand. And actually, yeah. Yeah. representing my, uh, my business, g nice. Entertainment, today. Okay. Got the, got hey. the g swag on, of course. And that's kind of our, uh, our mission, really, is the mission yes. tagline of the company is to entertain and empower. So okay. that's what I try to do with, with everything we're doing. Okay, so then um, you have been in the DJ business. How long have you been doing this? Oh, well, I've been I've been DJing now by oh. myself, probably about 10 years going oh, wow. on a long time for sure. Um, okay. The business is only a couple of years old now, only, you know, okay. two or three years old, uh, two years formally, you know, there's that kind of year at the beginning where you're figuring things out. But right. yeah, we've been in business for, for two years now. So okay, and you're uh, stationed in Gainesville. And then do you perform other places? Or are you pretty much more local? Uh, mainly local. So okay. GNB Entertainment is, is Gainesville, you know, GNB. Yeah. Um, and then I also have a branch, actually, that I started at the beginning of this year, you know, funny enough, starting a entertainment business in the time of coronavirus right. is crazy, right? But um, down in St. Pete, so down okay. in the Tampa Bay, St. Pete area that we're, we're getting growing as well. Okay. So uh, yeah. right now, Gainesville and St. Pete, and I kind of bounce between the two, Right. Okay. depending on cool. where the events are. Very cool. Yeah. So actually, a uh, funny story for some of the viewers. Uh, we have actually worked together. I have a dance troupe in a dance studio where I also have some of them perform for some of the senior homes and some of the places in the community of Gainesville. And he was the fabulous DJ at our event. <laughs> that was a, that was a fun one. I remember it kind of <laughs> yeah. turned into a, a, a makeshift, you know, yeah. senior citizen karaoke, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whatever, whatever works as long as everyone had a good time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then also you perform at some of the um, clubs in town and uh, stuff like that too. Sure. That's kind of the main gig. Uh, that's yeah. where, you know, especially where my heart is. That's a lot yeah. of fun to, and um, that's the, the inner, uh, excuse me, empowerment side of everything too. Cause okay. a lot of the kind of club DJs that we get and everything are, are younger um, up and coming DJs and I'm able to mentor them, work with them a little bit to advance okay. their career. So that's really exciting. That's and that's kind of part of the, the empowerment thing. Is for there sure. a certain style of music that you like to uh, DJ perform? Uh, I think it's important to be versatile for okay. sure. You know, it's, it's, easy to kind of get stuck in one music genre and especially as a well as any musician but as yeah. a dj especially um but that's what i try to you know train with my guys and kind okay. of what our clients ask of us is to make sure that we're representing multiple okay. genres multiple decades so that everyone on the dance floor can have a good time yeah yeah that's so true so true it's uh, similar like with dance I try to keep myself, you know, a little bit in each little section. <laughs> sure. A little bit of, you know, everything for everyone. Yes. yes Got to keep definitely. everyone happy as, as tough as that can be. Definitely. So is there a tip that you would give someone who is interested in being a DJ, but they just don't know how to even start? Well, if you're in the, the Gainesville area, definitely give me a call. You know, that's always a good start because I love to, like I said, work with the, the up and coming DJs. Okay. And even every, when I'm out, at, you know, anywhere, whether it be a little party or a little yeah. house get together, whatever it is, I always, and someone's DJing, I always like to introduce myself and that. So that's definitely a good start. Okay. Um, you good. know, I, I'm, that's really where my heart is and, and I'm very passionate about that. But really, it's just you got to put the time in. Um, when I was getting started DJing, I mean, no joke, I would spend three, four hours a day just sitting in my bedroom or sitting, I had a speaker set up like in my, in my kitchen area, you know, yeah. and just practicing and practicing and practicing. So it's yeah. no different than anything else. You just got to put the practice hours in and then the results come later. Yeah, course. that's but. so true. The more you keep practicing, the more you perfect it and the more you get comfortable and you practice. Yeah. <laughs> you <Sure. come. laughs> and if anyone's serious about it, like I said, is, you know, give me a call and, and I'm definitely glad to help. Okay, very cool. Very cool. Are there different uh, apparatuses that you DJ with? Is there different styles? Is there different methods? So so I've uh, been lucky enough in my DJ career now, I've kind of <laughs> seen the change of things. So okay. when, um, when I started DJing, I was still on what's called CD player. So literally, I mean, you would put the CDs in and DJ off of that. And now luckily, everything's gone digital. So, um, you know, it's easy to kind of transfer between me and all my guys is that we're all working on the same same gear. But um, okay. we work with industry standard stuff. So if for any newer DJs out there listening, definitely you want to look into Serato as a program. Okay, it's, uh, it's easy to get caught in the other ones. But you know, that's industry standard. And that's what you're going to want to be uh, 
be working okay. with. So okay, get to that is another good tip, I guess, for up and coming DJs. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> um, and then as far as your team, how many people are on your team? So, so it's a little tricky because okay. I do a lot of different things and, and, or rather my company does a lot okay. of different things, you know, um, but it's specifically DJs. I work with five or six different DJs oh, wow. on, on my team and then always looking for more, of course. Okay. Uh, and then we do a number of other things like trivia nights and karaoke wow. nights and all that. So, um, okay. I have a couple other hosts who work for me and, and that sort of thing. So all together, you know, we're a team, probably about 10 people. That's exciting. And, uh, it's it's good you know everyone does their part everyone does a really yeah. good job so it's it's i'm honored to be you know the leader the fearless leader of this ship, so to speak. <laughs> man in charge <laughs> yeah exactly Very it's cool. a lot of fun so then it's i know with the whole quarantine um that everyone is just so happy about how has that affected your business and how has um what things are coming up in for the future for you well it's been rough i mean like a lot of other businesses uh especially in gainesville you know things just kind of shut down um, I remember it was March 17th because it was St. Patrick's Day. We had yeah. a bunch of events planned and then it was right around like 11 a.m. Oh, I started wow. getting the calls of canceling things. And so that was rough and it's been a, a journey. But luckily, you know, we've been able to pivot and do a couple right. really exciting things. Um, we're still running our trivia shows. Okay. Uh, we've gone entirely contactless, which is really cool. So wow. um, every Tuesday night over at the Keys at 7 p.m., we're doing a trivia show, which is really awesome. Um, that's been building and been pretty successful. Very uh, we're also hosting Zoom trivia socials now. So, wow. you know, everyone's on Zoom. That's the new hot thing. Everyone's running their business through that. Yeah. Um, we've actually taken that as a tool and come together and been able to host our own Zoom calls where people log in, you know, wow. they compete uh, in our trivia game and they're able to win some prizes. And we're doing that privately and also uh, for a couple of, you know, nonprofit fundraisers coming okay. up. So um, that's been pretty exciting. You know, we're, yeah. we're launching a karaoke show at the end of this week as well. Okay. which that was a big challenge, you know, and making sure that that's safe and that we're being responsible. Yeah. But um, luckily, we've been able, like I said, pivot and make sure everyone's safe and clean and we can still, you know, yeah. entertain and empower because that's nice. that's what I'm out to do. Nice. Yeah, I feel like it's so important to have entertainment right now, especially when life is just hard. And you know, you need music, you need dance, you need the arts. It's so important right now. Oh, sure. And it's, it's, funny because uh when people talk about essential businesses yeah you know they think of pharmacies and grocery yeah. stores but I, I would go so far as to say entertainment and events and oh, yeah. and even dance for example is these things are essential businesses as well and the fact of uh, the kind of effect that they have on people's mental health yeah. and um what they're you know how, how easy it is for them to go through tough times like this so you oh, know i think so it's really funny. important um and i think it's funny that i guess we missed the classification there of essential because yeah. i would reckon we are I, I, I agree, too. I feel like it's so important for your mental state, for your health, for your spirit, for, you know, just shaking and grooving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Body That's a, yeah, well, it's, it's good to, you know, the mind body connection, get out there and, and make yeah. sure you're, you're moving and feeling good. So yeah. um, and that's when you talk about empowerment through entertainment. Yeah. One of my favorite things about my business for oh. sure is the kind of that moment you get in a karaoke show where people yeah. everyone's cheering for them and they get that that 15 minutes of fame so to speak yeah. um Love and it. just kind of the the feeling that it gives people so to be able yeah. to do that now again and keep it safe and everything yeah. is really exciting nice do you uh sing yourself at all uh it depends it depends oh, yeah. certainly on the I, i'm not shy on the microphone like i'll yeah. definitely get out there um <laughs> But some of these shows we do, they just get so busy, you know, yeah. so I, I don't get to have my own private concert. Yeah. But that being said, there have been some slower nights where, you nice. know, I'll have to get out there, sing five, six, seven songs, so, oh, wow. which is fun for me. Yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, is there a tip that you can give someone that is uh, DJing and they kind of have the um, nerves or they're having a hard time talking and being mm -hmm. loud and taking control of like the whole room and the crowd? Sure. It's a, uh, it's a big part of it, you know, and that's what I see a lot of uh, kind of amateur DJs or right. beginner DJs. What, what it is, is that they are so focused on the music and on the technical side that they don't realize that more of the job is being able to be a personality yeah. and, and be in charge of the room, you know, read the room, um, all those sort of things. So mm -hmm. to that, I would say it kind of sucks at the beginning because you might have to take some free gigs or even, I remember yeah. I was trying to convince people to let me DJ at their stuff, you know, oh, just, wow. Hey, please let me come <laughs> bring my board and just to practice. And, and so uh, just the more exposure you have and the more experience you get, the easier it's going to get again, like everything else. So um, just try to get out there okay. as much as you can. 
Okay. As much and as then you can. Do you recommend like having a resume or something? Or you're just like, here, here's my YouTube page. Do you have a YouTube page? Uh, I don't have a YouTube page. We okay. have a SoundCloud. Uh, we do a lot of Facebook and Instagram. Okay. All of it's through, you know, at GNV Entertainment slash GNV Entertainment. Okay. But uh, what I tell a lot of up and coming DJs now too is that your SoundCloud page, your Instagram is that this is serving as your DJ resume. So um, the unfortunate kind of truth is that the world we live in right now is that people aren't as much focused on the technical side of things and how good of a DJ you are, right. but rather, you know, how big of a following you have and, yeah. and how you're able to kind of market for the business as well. Um, so yeah. that's a big thing, you know, where we come in because collectively as a team, we have a pretty big following. Okay. Um, so that's a lot of things the clubs are looking for. So like your Instagram, your SoundCloud, all these things serve as your resume. So yeah. definitely it's important if you're serious about your DJ career to, to get serious about that social media game. Okay, very cool. Yeah, we have a couple of people saying thank you for sharing. Yeah, I, I got to give a shout out. I see one of my, my DJs, um, DJ Beanard. Hey. Uh, he's, if you've ever been in White Buffalo on a Friday and Saturday night and you're dancing, that's the reason why. So okay. shout out DJ Beanard. <laughs> <Shout What's> up, <laughs> <man>? <laughs> yeah, I've only been to White Buffalo once and that was, I also give out different alcoholic products on the side yeah, too. Sure. So um, was when I was doing that one time. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good time out there for sure. Hopefully, you know, yeah. the bars are able to come back soon enough so we can, we can get back and partying with people. Yeah, yeah. How do you change? Um, so like you do different styles and different gigs. How do you change your attitude towards one from the other? How do you mentally prepare yourself? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I would, uh -huh. I don't know that I would change my attitude necessarily. Cause you know, I'm, I'm here to serve. I think yeah. I, I kind of, and, and part of going through your DJ career is kind of getting over the ego of understanding you're there to play for someone else or you're there right. for other people to have a good time, not just to play what you like to hear. Right. Uh, so you know, I just try to approach every event I do, whether it's a wedding, whether it's a, a club event, okay. um, just try to read the room and make sure everyone's having a really good time. And, nice. you know, after experience and you place X many gigs and you can yeah. see kind of what groups of people respond to what tracks and everything. Yeah. And, and, but That's yeah, so I just try true. to make sure everyone's having a good time. That's so true. I feel like it's so important that um, a lot of people miss and it seems like it's so easy, but it's not is to listen to the crowd, to watch the crowd, to see oh, sure. the actions, to feel the energy from people. Oh, yeah. And and I can, again, it's kind of a, you know, I won't say amateur, but a beginner DJ thing. Yeah. That one of the reasons I can tell that they're just getting started is you'll watch them DJ. Okay. And they'll be staring at their computer, or staring at their board the whole night, you know, and not lo even just look up and see yeah, what yeah. people are doing, how people are responding. So, okay. Um, that's yeah, just, awesome you know, remembering, remembering why you're there is, yeah. is to, to make everyone have a good time. So nice, nice. And what an yeah. awesome job it is, right, to be able to, to do that as a career. So it is, be grateful yeah. that you can do that. Yeah. And I feel like really any entertainer, it's really important to pay attention and to give yourself to the crowd because mm -hmm. that's when you guys kind of feed off of each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So what other projects do you have coming up? I know you mentioned some stuff with the karaoke and some other stuff, but do you have any other things that are lined up for you? Sure. We, uh, so the, the karaoke night is going to be uh -huh. a big one because it'll be uh, Lucy's downtown okay. um, starting at 7 p.m. every Saturday. And that was before, you know, COVID and everything, one of our biggest shows. Yeah. So a lot of time and energy went into that, especially, like I said, completely revamping how we're doing it. Um, right. We're doing texted signups now. So instead of people, you know, coming up and face-to-face and -face giving contacts, it's all contactless. Okay. Uh, reusable microphones, all that sort of wow. thing, sanitizing. So we're really going the whole nine yards, make yeah. sure everyone's safe. Um, so that'll be, you know, a lot of time and effort um, is going towards that. I'm really excited. And then we're also working on a couple of uh, like live streaming projects okay. that'll be coming out um, pretty much like once a month over the next couple, uh, over the next couple months. Okay. I've tried to make it because, you know, everyone's live streaming nowadays, yeah. musicians and DJs, but we're trying to go kind of one step above and, and okay. do a lot of cool production and that sort of thing. Very so, cool. you know, again, all these things are announced on the, the Instagram, really, okay. and the Facebook. So anyone watching, you know, GNV Entertainment, both on Instagram and Facebook, make sure you check it out and you'll catch all the news on this stuff. Okay, yeah, because right now you guys are based in Gainesville, Florida. Mm -hmm. So then we'll follow and see for anyone else that wants to check it out because the show is now international, which I'm really excited. And That's very exciting. Congratulations yeah. on that for sure. Oh, so, yeah. So I'm super excited. Um, hello, J-Rex. <laughs> we have some shout outs. Um, so yeah, so very cool. Was there anything else that you wanted to tell anyone? 
Uh, no, just, you know, really at the end of the day, kind of what I say is my mission is to entertain and empower. And yes. that's something that I've been able to grow into a business now and use a business as a, as a method to do that. So just, I'm very grateful, like we were talking about to have such an awesome career yeah. and to be able to do that. And definitely, you know, anyone watching, um, a lot of cool stuff coming out to so make sure you follow us on various social media channels, all of them GNB entertainment. Very cool. Very cool. So being a leader of all of this stuff, and all of these different people, how are you managing time management, I would say? Well, that's, that's always a tough one. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, and I think no one really has the right answer. They yeah. just have what works for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what I've seen, I'm also the president of a, a business networking group here in town, BNI. Okay. And they give me a lot of really awesome tools and sort of like calendarizing and being nice. able to stay on top of my uh, schedule. So I use a lot of their, you know, we have an app that we use and that's really awesome. Okay. But if, you know, if you're not able to do that or anything, like just keeping everything written down and I've always been the type of person where, you know, it was all in the head and that sort of thing. And as I've grown my business, I've realized that, you know, I don't think anybody is able to yeah. do that. So just trying to keep everything written down, keep my calendar organized and just uh, on top of that, just staying, I don't like to say busy. I like to say well scheduled, okay. you know, so like staying, <laughs> staying well scheduled with what you're doing and, and not giving yourself a lot of time just to sit and stay stagnant because yeah. of course that old saying goes you know objects in motion stay in motion objects at rest stay at rest so just try to keep that. moving i love that do you have any crazy gj stories uh yeah i have it depends <laughs> on whether you know we're trying to keep it pg or, or <laughs> already of course it can get pretty crazy in some of these clubs but uh yeah. i just you, you know too many even to really dive into but just the characters that you meet both in these nightclubs and especially you know on the bigger nights as you know like on halloween yeah. or, or acr night is a huge one for those of you not from gainesville acrs are the alachua county residents and yeah gainesville is a, a city built around the the university so kind of when the the kids are away for thanksgiving break all the uh residents come out and it gets pretty crazy yeah. so <laughs> a lot of you know just characters and characters that i've met over over the years yeah <laughs> And how do you do, like, the patience with it? And how do you brush it off? Well, it can, and, and maybe you've kind of, you know, seen the people in the club, but they, yeah. they really want to hear one song or something, and it's, it's yeah. maybe it's not in line with what you're playing. Yeah. So, you know, again, I just always try to be as nice as I can about it. And nice. usually if you just, like, people will come up and request a song, and I'll just say, yeah, yeah I'll play it later, and then they'll walk okay. away. And usually they'll forget because yeah. alcohol does that, of course. Um, <laughs> Very true. But, I, you know, I just try not to take anything personal. I mean, I've had people tell me I'm the worst DJ that they've ever heard in their life, like, because I won't want to play a song uh, that well. they want and everything. So you got to have a thick skin in this career, for sure. I love it. I love and it. I yeah, just you try to such great tips. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I just try to remind myself, too, you know, again, is you get to DJ and you get to make yeah. all these people dance. And so it's it's easier than to, to have a thick skin with it and not to take things too personally. Yeah. So true. So true. What do you want to be remembered by? That's a that's a tough one for sure. I mean, that's a great question for sure. Um, I, I think it goes back down to my mission. Like I said, is it, it's grown into the company's mission, but really it is my own personal mission is to entertain and empower. And we've already talked about how important I think entertainment is and ah. just for everyone, not just for us entertainers, but uh, also that I think, you know, kind of like at the end of my life, so to speak, and, and mm -hmm. speak a little more broadly, yeah. If, if people remember me by that, this is someone who empowered people that he spoke to rather than brought them down, you know, I'm, I would be really happy with that. Oh. And with everything we do, I just try to stay positive, try to empower people. Um, I believe that if you give people a chance to succeed and give them the tools to, then they will. So, you know, if I could just do that and, and like I said, empower people to succeed on their own, then then I would be very happy if oh, I would yeah. remember that. Way. I love it. I love it. Did you want to play anything out for us before we go? Oh, I, I'm not actually set okay. up right now. I didn't know it was going to be, unfortunately. But uh, like I said, we have plenty of awesome content that came out on our Instagram. Okay. So if you are trying to get the, the DJ fix, we've been putting out tons of live videos and that sort of thing. So okay. I won't play anything for you right now, but I am playing on Instagram right now if you want. Okay. So you can go check that out. Awesome. And then I do have you pinned and tagged on here, and then I'll add in the comment also. Awesome. Also, I got a I got a shout out. Another one of my DJs just jumped off. DJ BZ. Hello, hello. He's, uh, <laughs> no longer in Gainesville, unfortunately, but still bringing the uh, the DJ swag a little further up north. So, okay. what's up, Danny? Very Good to cool. see you. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining.
And thank you everyone for tuning in. It's been fun. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate yes. the time, of course. Yes. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. Of course. Thank you guys. Bye. What's up? <laughs>